the very best athletes know that a bit of showboating can serve as a warning to their rivals. It sends a stark message. They can win with gas in the tank. Sometimes they get away with it, but sometimes the universe treats us to a delicious slice of instant karma. At the Turin Olympic Winter Games, that karma came in the tiny town of Bardonecchia, home of the snowboarding competition. Snowboarding is a relatively young Winter Olympic sport, arriving on the scene in 1998. And Snowboard Cross didn't make its debut until 2006. In some ways, the relaxed, cool image of snowboarding is at odds with the traditional attitudes associated with elite level sport. It's seen by outsiders as a sport for creative, expressive athletes, not hyper-efficient robots. Stars like Lindsay Jacob Ellis were out to prove that sport can still be fun, even when the stakes are at their highest. Well, that was the theory, anyway. Jacob Ellis came into the 2006 Olympic Games as reigning world champion of the snowboard cross. The format of snowboard cross is simple. Navigate the course as quickly as possible. It's a race to the finish line with no points on offer for style. That bit's important. No points for style. At just 20 years old, Jacob Ellis was clear favorite for the gold medal and her route to the final was comfortable. When the big day came around, it seemed like business as usual. Jacob Ellis quickly raced out to a huge lead. Attention! Come on, man. And they're off at the start. Jacob Bellis closest to the camera in the white pinstripes. And she's looking for an inside line, and she's got it. And she's going to come out of this turn in the lead. And whoops, there's a faller. And that looked like the Canadian Ricker who's down. And a little bit of problem there for Maltese, the other Canadian. Jacob Bellis with a comfortable lead right now. Maltese and Frieden, and Maltese is gone. She's off the course. Going into the penultimate jump, she was ahead of Switzerland's Tanya Frieden by a huge margin. If she stayed on her board, the gold medal was hers. What happened next became one of the most infamous moments in the history of the Olympic Winter Games. So just two jumps to go, and Jacob Bellis is down! Jacob Bellis has fallen! Looked like a moment of indecision there, and Tanya Frieden from Switzerland is past her and is going to get the gold medal. What a heartbreak for Jacob Bellis. What was she thinking in the air with just two jumps to go? As she'd gone over the penultimate jump, Jacob Ellis had attempted a method grab, a simple move where the rider grabs the heel side of the board during a rotation. Easy enough, but this was a strange time to try it. Why even attempt it? It was, in her own words, to improve her stability. Look closely, that method grab was definitely necessary for stability. Stability? It was a baffling decision. Onlookers were shocked. Stand by for a technically perfect face palm from US coach Peter Foley. Jacob Ellis later revealed to reporters that snowboarding is fun. I was having fun. Fun? At just 20 years old, Jacob Ellis would have plenty of chances to avenge her nightmare. But the ghost of Turin continued to follow her, and her fortunes faded whenever the biggest stage arrived. In the 2010 Vancouver Games, she arrived as the favorite, but was disqualified in the semi-final after hitting a gate. And she's hit the gate. Jacob Bellis is out. She entered the 2014 Sochi Games as a favorite for the gold. This time, she fell in her semi-final run. And she's down again. The nightmare continues for Jacob Ellis. Incredibly, the four-time world champion is yet to win Olympic gold. Sometimes, the silver medalist can be forgotten, but nobody will forget who came second in the women's snowboard cross in 2006.